So we're going to look at uh, Microsoft Access as part of the applications programs for Microsoft applications. And that is uh, the database program. We're going to look at some of the parts of Microsoft Access. Why do we need Microsoft Access as the program for database? What do we need database for and how do we use the database? So those are some of the key areas we are going to talk about through this topic. And I believe they're going to be helpful to us. So uh, just a quick introduction My, to Microsoft Access. We say it is a database management system and enterprise software. And in the end of this lesson, we're going to look at some of the sections that are very key. That is database and management system, working with database and enterprise software. So the first part that is database and database management system, the difference between database and DBS, that is database management system. What that DBS stands for is database management system. So uh, we, are, we are going to look at what database basics is and DBS and uh, basics are. So maybe if I scroll down a bit, uh, we have the differences database and database management system. The difference between database and uh, DBM is as follows. A database is repository for collections of related data or facts. So if you collect an information that are related or true facts that are related and then you put them together, we call that as a database. For instance, if you're, you have your collections of report from your school or your class and you put them together in a format that sends or gives information or a message to anybody who access to them, like for instance, if you're talking about uh, your report in all the subjects that you do in class from mathematics, English, Swahili, uh, science, religion, uh, social studies, ICT, French, all that put together and their scores and maybe the total marks, that is what we call a database for your academic uh, reports. So if you put an information or a fact that has the same or related meaning of facts, that's what we refer to as database. For those who are running uh, companies, they have information about those who are in the firm as employees, as employers, and uh, the details of each of those in a software. We also refer to that kind of facts as a database. So for instance, if you refer to a firm maybe uh, in your location, and maybe you, what would you, what would you talk about? Like uh, Mombasa Maze Millers, they have a database of employees, database of the products they produce, and database of areas of coverage of those products they sell. So all that information put together makes what we refer to as a database. And we're going to look at how we can keep those kind of information and refer to them as a database, how they, the importance they impose to a, a company, to an individual. So we're going to look into that. And then a database management system that is DBMS is a software or a tool that lets users add views, works with the data in a database. So this is simply a software or a program that enables users uh, to work with related facts or data that is collected from the field. So that is the difference between uh, database and DBM. So we say database is a repository for a collection of related data or facts. And DBMS stands for a system or a software or a program that guides the control of the related facts or data that is the database. 
So DBMS is simply a program or a software. A large database or DBMS are commonly used by companies, but many productive, uh, productivity applications are built around database concepts. So this DBMS can also be built in accordance or in reference to the need of maybe the company or the employer or the user. So if you want to make a DBMS, that is the program for database, you simply do a research of what information you need to keep for the information, then you will design it in a way that it fits the end user, that is you as a user, that program. So I said uh, when we introduced the software as a big part of it, I said programs are developed by software developers or software engineers. So if you want to further your studies in ICT, you can be a software engineer, you can be a network engineer, you can become uh, any person, you know, the path that you take in ICT, it's so wide. You can become a tutor, you can become a teacher, a lecturer, but it gives you a wider scope of choice. So those who develop softwares are called software engineers or program developers. So if you approach a software or a program developer to make you a database program, they will design it in a way that it fits perfectly with the reference of what information you want to keep or any other details that you want to have for your company or for your employees. So that is what makes a DBM and the difference between DBM and database is simply a DBM is a program or a software and database is a collection of related facts of data. So that is the difference. Then we, we have database and DBMs basics. So we're going to look at some of the the basic details that are related to database and DBMs. So database uses three main structures for organization, uh, organizing data, that is field, records, and tables. Just like when we were looking at a uh, spreadsheet, we looked at the cells, the columns, and the rows. We, we might uh, want to relate it in a slighter way since they all almost looks the same, but serves uh, a slight difference in the purpose of usage. So we're going to look at fields, records, and tables. So those are some of the, the key uh, database basics where we define field as which stores, field is an area where we store various pieces of data related to a single entry and records are simply collections of field related to an, an entity. In tables, we can refer to as uh, collections of related records. So, so in this case, we're going to have quite a number of tables that has uh, related records or information. For instance, if I was to have a database for my school, uh, I will have the column for uh, a table for teachers, a table for subordinate staff, tables for equipment that are available in the institution and all that. So when you put quite a uh, related story or information or data collected in one table, they become a database in a specific table. And all that put together is what becomes records. Those records are filled in, are put in fields. So those are the three uh, key areas that structured the database and database entries. So you can note that fields, records, but before you write that, let me just uh, give you an introduction part of it. You can write Microsoft Access. Hello, are you following? Yeah. Yes, you can write Microsoft Access, then you define what database management uh, database system is all about and all that information that is available there.
So this is uh, this is typically how or what we mean by a database. The information you keep, the record you keep, is what we refer to as the database. The two primary types of database are flat file database with only one table and related database with multiple related tables. So we have one database that has one table, but with the related database and another one that has multiple related tables. So this is typically how the information uh, represented in database looks like. We have each unique item in stored in a file is stored in a file each complete set of field is a record as you can see we have customer company address city state facts so those are the database of that particular client and then we have these other address uh, database that looks like uh, almost the same but this this is what we thought was the field this is the record and then so maybe next time we meet that is tomorrow we shall look at each and every like, part of the professional uh, address book that is included in the database platform that is the keys the primary keys the foreign keys what do they mean how do we work with them types of data types numeric numbers and all that just a minute i receive a call here So uh, tomorrow we shall be looking at those data types. How we work with each of them we have quite a number yes you, you. is it your network with an issue of mine i am saying tomorrow we shall be looking at types of data type that is numeric numbers alpha yes. numeric or string text dates time yes or no true or false Yes, all that. We shall be looking at that uh, on that tomorrow. And uh, the professional address books, that is the keys. We have uh, two types of keys. That is the primary keys and the foreign keys. How do we use the two keys in uh, data presentation? So uh, I will choose to stop there. Maybe if you have a question. No, I've already understood. Oh, okay. So uh, let's meet tomorrow again. Uh, tell uh, Drew we shall be meeting at 3 not 4. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, bye.